What's up guys, it's Zach, and in this video I'm stepping into the world of booktube with the Nintendo book tag. Recently I watched this done by Kristen Hackett, who is a booktuber, and as she was going through the questions, I thought of my own answers from my own book collection. I don't read many books nowadays, but I've been wanting to get that itch back that I haven't felt for so long, and I figured that this tag might do it for me. The first question is NES, Nintendo Entertainment System, a classic that you want to read. For this, I chose any and all Shakespeare plays. There's absolutely no denying that William Shakespeare is the original word wizard. His theatrical works are legend and still incredibly relevant today as evidenced by Troro Theatre Society performing productions of some of his more iconic pieces for the past three years. Although my love for acting didn't start with Shakespeare, it quickly turned in that direction, and being part of these productions has me wanting to read more about this man's brilliance. The second question is SNES, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. For this, I decided to go with Eldest by Christopher Paolini. This is the second book in the Inheritance series after Aragon. Even though a lot of things got set up in the first book, Eldest brought a ton more character development and developing storylines for not only Aragon, but for Murtag, his cousin Roran, and Arya. The world of Alagasia is so fascinating with all the different races intertwining, and Eldest was definitely a giant push for the series. Numero 3, Nintendo 64, a book that revolutionized the way you look at the world. For this, I decided to dig into my YouTube side and went with I Justine, an analog memoir by Justine Izarek. I'm not sure if I would say this revolutionized how I see the world, but reading I Justine's autobiography of how her life online got started has been awesome. From the days of the MySpace contest to her viral iPhone bill video that put her on the digital map, Justine brings to light the positive sides of having an online presence. One of my favorite sections so far has to be reading about her small lead hacker crew in college. I really like the idea of secret underground societies and using aliases to mask their identities. There's something very covert and mission impossible about it all. Number four, GameCube, a popular book that did not go over so well with you. And I'm actually going to go with a series for this one. That series is The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. In truth, I only put this as not going over so well because I haven't entirely finished the series. I got through The Magician's Nephew and then never moved on to The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. It was neat to see how the world of Narnia came into existence and who was the first to enter that world. Watching the wardrobe movie first, I didn't think of how everything came to be or how the two universes tied together. I'll have to put the series on my reading list if the book club idea I have in mind actually comes into fruition. For number five, We, a new favorite book, I decided to go with Revelations by Genevieve Pearson. This is the first book in Genevieve's current two book series, Songs of the Silver Tongue. It's a really neat story about a girl named Kira who lives a normal, standard life working at a supermarket in Texas until a group of angels, who are apparently not big fans of her father, comes to Earth searching for her. I've been getting a really big Percy Jackson vibe from Genevieve's story since Kira's father is a higher being and her mother knew this but kept it secret from her to protect her. And like Percy Jackson, it didn't turn out that easy. I'm always happy to support Genevieve's works and will definitely be moving on to Genesis after I'm finished Revelations. Number six, Nintendo Power. Favorite graphic novel series or series you want to start? I feel a little bit biased going with this, but I chose Legend of Zelda manga. I don't think I need any explanation with this selection. If you've been around long enough, you'll know that I love Legend of Zelda, and if there's a comic book series for the franchise, I am totally jumping on that spirit track. I might also get into Spider-Man since he's been one of my favorite superheroes for the longest time, and from what I hear about his many storylines, things get pretty wild. Question 7. Super Mario, a character you'd love to squish like a Goomba. Honestly, I don't think I've come across many characters that I would actually want to squish out of a story. They're all relatively important in their roles, like Crab and Goyle acting as Malfoy's lackeys in the Harry Potter series, 
for Lucius Malfoy for being such a gosh darn awful man to Dobby in Chamber of Secrets. But a book has to have characters you dislike, otherwise it's not quite an intriguing story. Sorry Mario, no Goomba squashing for you today. <laughs> Number 8, Zelda, a newer fantasy that you consider to be a modern classic. There is no doubt in my mind what the answer to this is, and that would be the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. Harry Potter has had a place in my heart since I was 10 years old. I grew up reading the books, watching the movies, cosplaying as Harry at conventions, and one time in grade 5 when my class went to see Chamber of Secrets at Empire Theatres when it first came out. The story is timeless and highly relatable in many aspects. Having a jerk sibling or cousin, not feeling like you fit in, finding real friends, and fighting adversity. Rowling has done amazing work with all of her novels and continues to blow our minds with brilliant cinematic representations. The next question is Samus Aran, a favorite sci-fi novel or one you want to read? For this, I chose Animorphs by K.A. Applegate. This was my jam in middle school. The library pretty much had every book in the series and I would plow through them one right after the other. The concept has always been a fun one. A group of kids stumble upon an injured alien who gives them the power to transform into any animal with a few limitations to fight an opposing alien infestation and save the world. When I found out that the books were turned into a TV series, I was over the moon and naturally rushed to Netflix to marathon it. I wouldn't say that the show is quite as good as the books, but it was really cool to see Animorphs get that 90s TV feel. Number 10, Pokemon, book editions you want to collect. And for this, I'm going with the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. I don't know if there are different editions to the Olympian novels, but I would really like to have the core set. I find the movies pretty entertaining and it would be cool to see the view from both sides, book and cinematic. I've heard a few people say they didn't like Lightning Thief or Sea of Monsters because they were inaccurate from the novels, but I'm gonna have to read the books myself to get the contrasts. Number 11, Donkey Kong, a book with original characters, and my choice is Chasing Power by Genevieve Pearson. This was the first book of Genevieve's that I've read and it is entirely my style. The characters that she's created are wonderful and it's fun to read how their quest unfolds. The main character, Samantha, is relatively generic, high school girl who wants to mind her own business, but with the addition of getting thrown into a whirlwind of chaos and the ability of being a power vacuum, her life gets real exciting real quickly. The trio that takes her under their wing, Lane, Harry, and Al, and protects her from imminent danger are just as cool, with abilities for influencing emotions, controlling lightning, and kinetic abilities, these guys are arguably my favorite part of this book. And lastly, Nintendo fandom. Favorite Nintendo games or games I really want. Now this is more my style. I've been playing video games longer than I've been reading books, so I was able to come up with this answer very easily, and my favorite video games are Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, and pretty much every Super Smash Bros. game that's been developed in the past few years. Adventure games, albeit solo ones, have always been the most enjoyable for me, and the Zelda universe never disappoints. On the other side of Nintendo, yet still in the realm of beating things up, Super Smash Bros. is an excellent fighting game to play with friends, and I don't see myself getting tired of it anytime soon. A game I really want to play is Splatoon. I've already seen a handful of video game plays online and it looks like a ton of fun. Blasting ink everywhere looks like a much more enjoyable time than any Call of Duty, Battlefield, or Halo. And that is a wrap for this one and no doubt only booktube video. Unless of course Kristen posts another tag that catches my eye. Clearly, I have a lot of reading to do, and I would love to have that drive back that I had as a 90s kid. What are some ways you all motivate yourselves to pick up a book and dive into a world of excitement and magical wonder? Let me know in the comments below, and I really hope that one of your suggestions will do the trick for me. 
Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to punch the like button, share it around, comment below, and subscribe to be notified of all my latest videos. And if you want to check out my previous video in this series or in my channel in general, you can click down in the description or the eye in the sky. It's been great talking to you, and I'll see you in my next video. Live to be different and be who you were born to be. We found a rainbow. A good sign. Good sign. Oh, That's man. Some pretty. It really is.